it's kind of close. He's absolutely lying about how it tastes, and that's just the bottom line. It's an outright lie. Welcome back to the Anabolic Cub, where we make anabolic deliciousness. We're back inside my kitchen today, and we're doing another recipe review. We're going to be taking a look at the Exercise for Cheat Meals Anabolic Oreo McFlurry. This one looks like it could be fantastic. After all, it's Oreos, and we all love everything Oreo, and it has, at the time of this recording, over 120,000 views. So clearly people are liking it. It's moving on to other people. People may even be coming back to try it again. So we have to put it to the test. It's not really a question of is it a good cream, but is it one of Nick's best or the best cream that we're going to answer today. So with no further ado, let's get things started by having a look at the ingredients. Here we go. Ice, 1% milk, plain non-fat Greek yogurt, vanilla extract, sugar-free vanilla jello pudding, the one ingredient to rule them all, salt, xanthan gum, guar gum, cookies and cream flavored whey casein blend, Oreos, dark cocoa powder, swerve, granular. And it's a Nick cream, so we know that all of the ingredients here are going to be super precise and have a particular order. So if you notice off to my left here, I have my two rows of our order of operations, but we're gonna get things started here by adding our ice into the blender and giving this a blend all by itself. Nick says this will prevent any ice chunks from forming at all in the cream, and if Nick says it, it must be true. So let's get things started here by blending the ice first off. Initial one minute blend starts now. And so begins our first set of ingredients, starting with our 1% milk. Extra fat in that milk is supposed to add to the creaminess, deliciousness, anabolicness, deliciousness of this cream, so we shall see. And next, we need some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, negative scale measuring system. Give it a scrape down, because we want it all. Then the vanilla extract and the salt. And if you're looking for the ratios to these ingredients, they are of course on Nick's channel, Exercise for Cheap Meals. I will link to the video in the description box below if you wanna check it out after we do the review to find out how much is it worth making. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back over to the base so we can do our first blend with more than just ice. First ingredient blend, okay, bye. Flavor sticks out. As Nick said, it is pretty thin after that first mix of ingredients at our sides. I'm moving our ingredients from bottom to top. Flavor stick back in. Mess off to my left. Then our second round of ingredients, starting with our sugar-free vanilla pudding. Guar gum, xanthan gum. That should make for a creamy combination. And next up, we're gonna be adding in our PE Science Cookies and Cream Whey Casein Blend. He did say that a vanilla flavor would work pretty good, but this is gonna give the best flavor, so of course, we're gonna use this. And Nick went through the trouble to test out different dark cocoa powders. He found this brand to be the best. It's linked in the description box at his video, so you should definitely go check it out if you don't already have it. And I can tell you firsthand, this works great in anabolic Oreo recipes. I've used it before in a few of my other recipes, and they all come out fantastic. It is exactly the kind that Oreo uses in their cookies, so no surprise that it works well with those recipes. Let's get this in there so we can carry on. It fought me, but we got it to the gram and on the money. Then we need our zero calorie sweetener, which of course is going to be our swerve granular. Man, the last gram of everything is fighting me, but we got it again. And our last ingredient for this blend is going to be our Oreos. We're gonna drop them in whole and blend them up with everything else, which I can totally see is going to make the deliciousness go throughout the cream. Back over to the base, and back to vlog mode. Second to last blend, here we go. Oh, 
And one more scrape down. Bring all our wet ingredients up along the sides. And move bottom to top. It'll probably be easier to take the flavor stick out, but hard to do that in vlog mode. So I did do a quick scrape down. I pulled the flavor stick out and got all of our wet ingredients up on the dry. We gotta do one more blend here. Man, it was tempting not to lick that spatula, but I digress. Let's get our last blend done. Mix in on so we can get over to the taste test table. And it's ready. Let the pouring process begin. Okay, so I jumped the gun, had to take the flavor stick out first, but now the pouring process can begin. Oh boy, it's looking McFlurry-ish. Look at that. Am I gonna have just enough room? Right to the brim and a little bit left over. See if we can get some of that exercise for cheat meals overspill. Seems like a waste, but we're gonna do it. There it goes. And then of course, our final Oreo mix-in. And we're back at the taste test table for the largest cream eaten at once that has ever occurred here. Wow. I think it literally exploded. There is so much cream in this. Six cups, I think Nick said in his video. Six cups of Oreo McFlurry. That is an insane amount of volume. It definitely smells Oreo-y, but does it taste Oreo-y? Let's find out. With no further ado, we gotta dive right into this because it's a cream and cream reviews are the toughest because there's a lot of moving around with the camera and we don't want it to melt any more than it may already have. So let's get right to it. Is the first bite the best bite? Let's find out. I don't even know if there could be a last bite with how much is here, but we'll find out. Here we go. A little bit of everything in there. Oh my God, Oreo heaven. The consistency is very McFlurry-like. It's not quite as thick as a traditional Oreo McFlurry, but it's not that far off either. And the flavor is definitely there. It's not as sweet as your traditional Oreo McFlurry, but I think it provides just enough where you feel like you're having one. <laughs> Try some without the mix in, see how it is here. Oh yeah, blending those Oreos into the cream is a fantastic idea. I did something similar with my Reese's protein ice cream that I just released. Fantastic way to get that true flavor throughout your entire cream, blend in part of the mix in. It just disperses the flavor throughout the entire cream. There's been a few attempts at making a high protein Oreo ice cream or Oreo blizzard or whatever you wanna call it. And initially, whenever I see it, all I could think of, he's absolutely lying about how it tastes. And that's just the bottom line. It's an outright lie. But then you go and you try it and it's kind of close. This one here is as close to having an Oreo McFlurry or even a blizzard type consistency that you're probably gonna find in any cream out there. And I'm finding this throughout the Oreo recipes that I'm either reviewing or trying on my own. That black dark cocoa powder, the brand that's used in this recipe and a couple of the recipes of mine, is an absolute savior on getting that authentic Oreo taste. It's something about that that just isn't the same in the Hershey's version, the special dark version. It doesn't quite come out the same. The flavor's not quite there. Nick did say he tried a couple other brands and they weren't quite as good. I think the jackpot is in that one ingredient that just gives a more consistent Oreo flavoring. Because I've been saying for years, nothing tastes like an Oreo except an Oreo. That cocoa powder definitely helps a lot. Of course, the mix-in with the Oreos is a big contributor to what makes this taste Oreo-y. And for the calories and the macros, spot on. I would go so far as to say that you could totally skip the mix-ins at all. Don't put any Oreo as a topping. Just blend the ones in there and you're gonna get a nice Oreo flavor throughout the entire cream and save yourself 70 to 100 calories easy. I mean, look at how big this glass is and Clearly it exploded over the top. There's so much cream in this, it's insane. This is so refreshing because normally with anabolic Oreo anything, I always end up saying, I'm so disappointed. But in this case, it's like a miracle. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to say, king of the cream strikes again. <laughs> Great point by Nick in his video also, when you get to the bottom of an actual McFlurry, you really just get an ice cream because the topping is pretty much gone. Here, 
I've already gone through the mix and I put on the top. I'm getting my way towards, well, not towards the bottom because this is enormous. I'm probably about maybe a third of the way down. But you're tasting that Oreo in every bite. You're not going to get to the bottom of this and feel like you're just having a vanilla milkshake. It's not going to happen. It is Oreo all the way through. There's really not that much else to say other than this is absolutely delicious. <laughs> well, there is one more thing to say. I would say this is a 9 out of 10 compared to a regular McFlurry. And for all the creams that I've tried of Nick's, this is definitely his best masterpiece of a cream right here. Whew. Well, I'm almost halfway done, but it is getting to be about that time. I gotta get up out of here, so I'll have to finish this off camera and see you in the next one. Bye.